My name is Rick Labello and I'm the education curator at the El Paso Zoo. The El Paso Zoo got involved in actually having Mexican wolves live here as a result of a request by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the, the government of Mexico to provide places for wolves to live so that we could breed them in captivity. By 1970, we were pretty sure that the Mexican wolf disappeared from West Texas, and the only ones left were in northern Mexico. So the last ones recorded in Texas were killed uh, during the winter of 1970, uh, south of Alpine and east of Alpine near Sanderson. After taking some eight millimeter footage of the wolf, I went back to Big Bend National Park where I was working and I shared the actual eight millimeter film that I took with my colleagues. And I didn't know that the footage I took of the Mexican wolf would be so important today. So when I saw that Mexican wolf in a cage that was like just a large dog cage, uh, I said to myself, golly, this is a beautiful animal. Wow, wouldn't it be great if this animal still lived in Big Bend National Park? And that's when I became emotionally connected. I just felt so bad that these animals were almost extinct, and I was seeing one of the last ones known to science right there in front of me. I'm John Casita, the animal curator at the El Paso Zoo, and I've been here since 1990. Our really important goals here in El Paso Zoo is getting people to connect to nature and just realize they're part of it, realize that we're in the Chihuahuan Desert. Not everybody does that and they don't think of it. And one thing that Rick Labello and our education team have done, they have gathered many, many signatures on petitions over time to help support efforts to try to reintroduce the Mexican wolf back into Texas. The wolf had been part of the Chihuahuan Desert even in Texas, historically, we we're able to very rarely put a species back into nature and try to get that equilibrium that used to exist, getting it back on course is really fantastic. If the world does not remain a safe place for animals and plants, including all the species of wildlife that we know about, it's not gonna be a very safe place for people because we require the same things that nature requires to survive on this planet. So a lot of people have lost that connection and that's why zoos like the El Paso Zoo are so important. We're helping people to connect and reconnect with nature so that they'll want to value nature and all the parts that make up the natural world. Only in El Paso is produced by KCOS, El Paso PBS, in collaboration with local filmmakers. Only in El Paso is made possible with support from El Paso Museums and Cultural Affairs Department, working to develop a world-class arts community in El Paso. El Paso Electric, proud to be your local utility. Visit El Paso, raising the profile of El Paso to attract visitors near and far. And PBS Digital Studios, Original content that explores science, arts, culture, and beyond.